guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Well, it looks like we have our answer over here on JP Dokkan of what is coming for the Part 2 LR. Um, looks like it is definitely going to be related to the tapey on EZA. So this really, again, Dokkan is so pattern-oriented, man, because last year the Dokkan Fest had nothing to do with the, the Part 2 LR. The Part 2 LR did have something to do with the Prime Battle uh, Krillin that had just come out, though. Well, it looks like it's the same thing here, where this LR, it, I mean, I, there's no way they're dropping, like, this. So this Kid Trunks from the Tapion Story event's getting, like, sort of a revamp right here. This Kid Trunks is going to get an Awakening, and then, what, they're they're then going to drop, like, an, an LR Kid Boo or something like that, or LR Garlic Jr., right? Just, like, something completely out of left field? Like, nah, man. Uh, the LR is, I would say, with uh pretty good case is going to be coming from this movie right here. Now, obviously, the biggest moment of the movie being Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he literally already has a summonable LR. But now we start getting into very interesting stuff, right? So... We could get a part two LR from this, you know, the Tapion movie. Could, like, we go straight into Golden Week, also focusing on the Tapion movie? Because remember, Super Saiyan 3 Goku has the oldest Dokkan event currently in the game, right? Like, that has not had an update. Um, so, I really think he needs a new Dokkan Fest exclusive character. So, if you did, like, a, a dual Dokkan Fest for Golden Week... Of, you know, a Dragon Fist Goku with the crazy animations and then some sort of Harutagarn or maybe like Hoi and Harutagarn, you know, the little like wizard that like kind of like, you know, uh, I don't know, it's trying to use them and stuff like that. That definitely I think could work, right? And then maybe just a, a flat out LR Tapion. I mean, of all the characters, I mean, there's a Got Gotenk shows up, Ultimate Gohan, Vegeta has an appearance, like. A lot of the Saiyans do, you know, do extensive fighting with Harutagarn. There, of course, is great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 make appearances. Like, there's a lot of different options. Um, I would not have a problem with LR Tapion because e's, the EZA Tapion slash Harutagarn card is so good. If we now have, like, an LR to pair with him, that's going to be really, really interesting. So, I don't know. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at what we got right here. So, again, this Kid Trunks is going to be getting a Dokkan Awakening. Uh, we'll take a look at what he does right now. I'm actually not really too familiar with this guy. Um, and there's also a new category as well. Um, so, wait, where does it say there's... I'm trying to find where the new category is. I'm looking at Goresha's Japanese... Is this it right here? Okay. All right, so what we have right here, this new category is this. Goresh translated this as bestowers. Now, this already, dude, we're looking pretty vague here. Like, <laughs> because now, okay, okay. So, obviously, this is, like, in regards to Tapion, right? Tapion giving Trunks the sword. Like, that. that's what Tapion does. But, like, now, like... How literal are they going to take it? Like, future Gohan, like, sort of, like, dies bestowing, like, the, the role of protector or hope onto Trunks, right? Like, future Gohan kind of sacrifices himself, and he's leaving it to go to uh, future Trunks to continue it on. So, like, would future Gohan qualify for this category? Would, you know, that f version of future Trunks, would he qualify for this category? This is a real tricky one. What about, like, Piccolo, right? Like, gives Gohan clothes in the Cell Saga and the Saiyan Saga. Does that count? What about Goku giving Cell a Senzu bean? Oh, what about that, right? Like, Goku teaching Goten and Trunks the fusion dance, right? Like, there's, like, it's, this is, it's gonna be very tough to tell exactly how they're gonna operate this until we see what it looks like, right? Because, again, there's, so many different potential ways we could, like, like, I don't know, like, would this just be, like, straight training? So, I don't know, like, Kami training Goku to fight Piccolo Jr. Would that put Kami on here? Because Kami does teach Goku a lot of his techniques, right? Like, during that tournament, Piccolo, 
like makes a mental note like oh, that's weird like goku fights like like i do like like it like it's you know obviously because kami taught goku so like you know would that cause like kami or that goku from that world tournament to be on there like we're gonna see how this is gonna pan out um i assume right that this is probably gonna be actually like an lr vegeta napa kale and khalifa situation at this exact time right Remember, Kale and Khalifa introduced joint forces. We did not have, like, a Dokkan Fest leader for that team for quite a while. Um, and then we had, last year, uh, Vegeta and Nappa introduced Inhuman Deeds. We did not have a Dokkan Fest leader for that for a while. So, I, it's very possible this is, like, a standalone LR Tapion. Or maybe, like, an LR Tapion and Kid Trunks. Um, and, like, the, he leads this category, like, you know, key for 130% of stats. I would say that's, like, very, very likely. Um, they did not show the LR at 4 a.m. So the way this is going to go, they could show this in a half hour. If they don't, uh, the last couple of, uh, like, like units that they've shown, I believe it's been at the exact, like, it's been, like, 8.46 p.m. Like, every single time is uh, exactly when these characters have been shown, right? So I'm going to be curious to take a look here. Let me actually pull up, um, like, Videl. Because I think, again, Videl, so here we have the Dokkan Twitter. So here's Videl, right? Tweeted out at, okay, 9.46, right? Because of Daylight Savings. And then the funny thing is, I believe, so Broly would be, uh, like, he's a special case, right? Because he's global and JP at the same time. Kind of a unique instance the last one before that we'd want to look at is what? Trunks and Goten. So let's see what time they were shown at. 8.45. Okay. It's so like, like, there we see, right? Like, like right around that time frame, probably tonight is where we're going to see um, the LR actually shown. Um, so, of course, this is this story event that's going to get updated. Uh, the Trunks and Tapion medals, it's the same medals that awaken him. So it looks like you could already pre-have grinded these up. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be, like, new stages added. Maybe they'll put a support memory in here. Typically, when there's a new support memory, though, they do mention that in the news and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. This would be very bizarre, by the way, if they don't awaken these characters. Because, right, like, they're pushing this movie hero theme. This, you know, making Great Saiyan Man 2, this Fidel right here, like, making her super good uh, would not be a bad thing, considering, like, this would go hand-in-hand with uh movie heroes right which obviously is the central theme dokkan is pushing but then she'd also be a nice buff for peppy gals and defenders of justice and then same thing with this great saiyan man right here like it i really hope these two get dokkan awakenings as well because they're gonna buff a lot of teams and especially defenders of justice peppy gals and movie heroes so hopefully these two will also awaken let's see what this trunks does right here and then we're, we're gonna talk about mr golden fist in two seconds don't worry about him but let's see what this Trunks does. So, Supreme Damage, 50% attack when doing a super, and then medium chance to perform a crit. Um, he has six links. Well, the, the infamous money, money, money. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's on what? Hybrid Saiyan, Movie Hero, Vegeta Family Youth, Prodigal Warrior. Uh, and then he, I assume he will be on Bestowers as well. But it's very hard to say, like, is is be like the bestowers category only going to be those who give something down or also those who receive, right? Like, it's uh, it's tough. I, it, it's going to be very tough to see. Um, I mean, if they make this Trunks maybe, like, I don't know. Uh, his stats probably aren't going to go up that much, honestly, for a, a free-to-play TUR. Uh, I mean, if they gave him, you know, 150% on super attack, 150% defense at the start of turn, high chance to crit, maybe like a, and then a high chance to dodge, like he could be very solid, right? Um, Link set is, I mean, dude, he's got world tournament champion. I, <laughs> they got to remove that when they awaken him, right? There's no way. <laughs> wait, wait hold on uh you just can't you can't activate this link anywhere for him there's no teams where you can activate these link this link am i am i stupid there's no team 
where you can activate this link for him. <laughs> oh, wait. No, 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 because it's, 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 it's just Trunks' kid. Again, same thing. Yeah, okay, that's good. I, 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 I am a big fan of giving characters links that it's impossible for them to activate. I think that's very good, right? Um, obviously, I'm being sarcastic there. I We'll see. Link says looking a little wonky, so with that, I would like to see them add more to his passive. You know, I maybe give him a chance to stun or seal or a little bit of defensive raising or something on super attack as well. Could be good. We'll see what this Trunks looks like. I mean, he is on a couple of category teams that would be nice buffs. And also, this the name of this character, Trunks Kid, I that's not exactly a competitive name, I don't think. Let me take a look at what exactly is there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, making him really good is, is, is definitely a good thing, considering he is actually the only, like, SSR Trunks kid that exists, right? So, uh, definitely would be good to buff him. Now we get to the craziness, right? So, LR Tapion, or, like, LR Tapion and Trunks could be crazy. Dude, uh, if they easy a this guy... <laughs> oh man i just this this is gonna be good because he is this is like gonna be a, a fucking premium easy a dude kamehameha super like all these teams like i love buffing super saiyan 3 we're buffing movie hero final trump card like full power like i don't dude i don't know like what if they just I, I, like what are they gonna do with this guy what if they just made this crazy 150 percent defense at the start of turn what if they just bumped this to 200 percent and then they just took that away and like you know the main thing with him is key right so then what if he like i'm trying to think what what would be good um because you know he is sort of working together with like all like you know gotenks and gohan and them i mean tapion is sort of not really doing much once harutagarn explodes out of him right so i don't know I, what if goku would get like a key for every pure or hybrid saiyan on the team something like that 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 could be cool um i for this goku really i like I think maybe just taking away this and then giving him key is all he'll need. But, like, they went so overboard with the other summonable LR EZAs that, like, I just see them doing a lot, right? Like, this rare chance, they would shoot that up to a medium chance. Um, I'm sure, like, he would probably massively lower defense, but then he'd probably also do something else. Like, I don't know, maybe he would stack defense or stack attack on his 18 key or something like that. Uh, there's a lot they could do. Like, this, to me, this is a very, very exciting easy A. Um, because, like, this guy, uh, like, you add him, like, he could help out a lot of these teams. He would fit well in a lot of these teams. He has a good link set, right? Like, uh, dude, like, he, he would work really well with LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Again, movie hero, uh, Goku family, full power. Like, that's going to be really good. I'm excited. This, like, you know, LR Tapion would be sick. You know, making this Kid Trunks super good would be sick as well. Um, But, like, to me, uh, this, I, I'm very intrigued by this. Uh, please, 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 let's, let's go crazy with this. Um, and again, I, I feel like we could drop LR Tapion right now and then just go straight into a dual Dokkan Fest for Golden Week uh, with Super Saiyan 3 Goku um, as a Dokkan Fest and then they EZA LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? Exactly what they did for Saiyan Day. I definitely could see them doing that. So that would be just so sick. And this is still like, is this the best card art in the game? It's up there, right? Like that <laughs> That still looks really, that's, up, that's definitely up there. That might be the best. That's got to be top five still, right? Like, that looks so good. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I am uh, quite excited for the possibility of this guy easying, though. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So, let me know what you guys think of uh, this news. Again, part 2 LR for JP, very likely to be Tapion, I would say. Or Tapion and Trunks, Tapion and Goku, something like that. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.